What up, man? It's your big brother, K. Reno. Um, Got to say this to the grown people out there um, and the people who have a, who make a mistake of letting every little thing get to them, man. Like, you can't police nobody's mouth. You can't police grown people's mouth, especially. Man. You can't police your own children's mouth because even if you try to stop them from saying something in your presence, as soon as they leave you, they're going to be talking like they talk anyway. They might be talking about you. But... Too many times we let this internet talk um, get to us. We let this internet talk cause us to um, get in our feelings and feel like we have to go out and defend against everything that's said about us on the internet. And in some cases, try to defend everything that's said about um, people that you just support, people that you, you, know, that you love and you know, um, and sometimes people you don't even know. And the reality of that is that the way that the internet is so flooded, man, this thing is like a super highway of just conversations and information and, and, um, and vlogs and blogs and uh, YouTube channels and uh, different platforms where people are able to express their thoughts about whatever it is. All these thoughts are not going to be favorable. They're not going to be favorable to you if you're somebody who's known your celebrity and they're not, they're not definitely not favorable to you if you have um, done some things that have brought the wrath of the internet world down on you. And too many times we see people just trying to police every comment to try to just, I got to check everybody who ever said anything about me and I got to do this and that. Man, that, that has to be, I'm saying it has to be because I can't even imagine it. But that has to be so tiring. And it's also foolish. And it's also a waste of time. Because um, one thing I know about, and I wouldn't call myself uh, just a celebrity like that, you know, but I, what, what I do know um, about being a person who who's in the public eye to a, to a degree, and, you know, people know you. You know, you step out in society, people know you. You know, that's just the reality of it. Um, people are going to form different views of you and some are going to like you, some are not going to like you, and some are going to just be undecided in between or don't care one way or no, don't even have a dog in the fight. Um, but either way, if when you come across those people who may not be fitting you, you know, may, may not like you, um, it, that's just what it is, man. That's just what it is, you know. Go on with your life. Keep going forward with your life and keep doing the things that you have to do to, to make your life better and to make those around you better and stop losing sleep behind what somebody said about you it's because somebody didn't agree with something you said, comment you made, or a record you put out, your video sucked, or whatever it is, man. You can't stop that. You can't stop that. I've said this on many occasions, man. It's some of the most um, successful people in the world that get smashed in the comment sections of different videos um, based on several factors, based on um, if the person whose platform it is is already somebody that's against you, then, then they have followers, then those followers are basically going to ride with how that person's thinking lines up. It's nothing you can do about that. You know, but if it's not stopping your money, if it's not stopping your success, and if it's not um, stopping the people who ride with you, why do you even care? You know, now if you're dealing with something blatant where somebody is, is, is slandering you and putting out false information about you, you know, if if the um, if it's a um, I won't say a reputable enough site, but if it's a it's a big enough platform, then maybe. You know, in, in, in those slander type situations, you know, maybe you could take some type of legal action. If, if there's a defamation kind of cloud hanging over, then maybe that's something you could do if you choose to go down that route. But when you just got these everyday, ordinary um, people online saying what they say, making comments about you, your content or whatever, man, bro, don't, don't, don't spend your days and your time trying to chase that down all the time, trying to defend that, you know, 
and even on the streets, you know, like shh, just walking down the street and somebody say this or said that. Look, as long as the laws of personal space are not violated, people gonna talk. It's nothing you can do, and a lot of a lot of times talking and feeding back into it only makes it grow. It only makes it worse. When you don't feed back into it, then um, the uh, the person has nobody to play with, you know. And if and, and I and I can remember times where when I was outside and with nobody outside and I didn't have nobody to play with. Sometimes I would just go in the house. I play by myself. So that's what you got to cause people to do because the minute that you give it any type of juice, then that's going to be like putting putting gas in the gas tank because now they're going to mash the gas and they're going to get more mileage. The more gas you add to it, the more mileage that vehicle gets. So, you know, if it's not anything that affects you in any kind of way, man, let it go. And let them move on to the next person because that's exactly what they're gonna do. A lot of those type of people, um, this is a job for them. <laughs> you gotta come in. No, you can't fall for it. This is a job, and 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 what they're trying to do, they're trying to see who they can bait into the madness, which will fuel the uh, the argument, the beef, and the conversation, and drive and push views through that kind of content. Don't let yourself become a victim of that. And don't even let yourself become a victim of that outside of the internet. Some people do that at work. Some people do that at school, in the neighborhood, at home, in your family. They try to they try to get a rise out of you. They try to they just they try to get a rise. Let's see. He always act like he got it so much together. Let's see, watch this, watch this. Let me see if I can get a rise out of him. And just know the play. Just understand the play, y'all. So but don't go around thinking you can police every mouth in the world, man, because somebody talking crazy about you on the West Coast, on the East Coast, in Germany, and um, in, 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 in London, and Brazil, and somebody's talking crazy about you, man, and you cannot track them all down, man. And it's dangerous, you know, because sometimes you like to uh, push up on people and Get it off your chest right then and there. And everybody ain't <laughs> everybody ain't gonna submit to that. So pick your battles, man. Alright, it's your big brother K. We know I'll catch y'all later on. Peace.